Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Really hope you enjoyed the first video. This video is going to be what I can read in a weekend. So every time I open a book or pick up my Kindle, I'm going to film and see how much reading I can get done. So it is currently 5pm Friday evening and we're starting off with the Mindfuck series. So I'm up to book four and it is getting good. It's definitely not what I expected going in, but I am not mad about it if I'm being honest. So I'm reading on my trusty Kindle because um, the series on Kindle Limited, which is just like chef's kiss we're at the point in the story where lana is just an absolute badass and we absolutely ship her with hadley <laughs> the opening of this book is intense oh my god i feel like this is like the most involved we've got to the story so far i feel like something really big's gonna happen so i'm on page 120 of 140 it's currently 7 20 p.m and this book is so so a couple of things to note in this book, Lana Myers has worn a Michael Myers costume to do some of the, and it's brilliant, it's just absolutely brilliant. This book is actually super dark as well. I mean, I'm loving it, don't get me wrong, but like, it's quite graphic, more, more graphic than I'm used to reading. Morning, it is Saturday 9.15 and I am up to book five. The ending of book four was next level absolutely loved it i mean keeping this no spoilers but yeah i mean everything that i could have hoped for to be honest and let's see how book five goes these are the vibes this morning i am in cafe nero and they have the cutest little book display over there so happy days so it's 12 30 and i'm on page 80 of 170 this book has yeah 170 and yeah I'm really, I'm really really conflicted about logan at the moment i just I don't know what to think about him. Lana's still a badass. We absolutely love her. And yeah, that's my page 80 update. Reason number 7,000 to buy a Kindle. Look how perfectly just props up my steering wheel when I'm not driving. Happy days. So it's quarter to three. I'm on page 136 out of 177. And I have a very horrible feeling that Lana's not going to make it. I'm really hoping I'm not right. Um, but Logan has redeemed himself a little bit. So... We're okay with that now. And Hadley was the real MVP, as I predicted, like on book three. Brilliant. I am really excited to finish this series just because it has been so good so far. And also, if you put all the books together, it's been maybe like touching 700 pages. So I kind of feel like I've read one big book as opposed to it been a series. Um, so I'm excited to read something like slightly different Um just because I don't think I've ever read a book that long or a book series that long, so yeah. So it's Saturday 6pm and I've just finished the Mindfuck series and what a ride. Book five itself was really good as well. It definitely was my favourite of the five books. Um, it gave you like a really conclusive ending. You got to know where every character was up to and like how the story ended for them as well as the main characters. So that is like quite a rare thing in series that you get to know about everyone. So it was brilliant. Um, Hadley was definitely my favourite character still. She was, I think, from when I started recording this. Um, I can't fault her. She's brilliant. Everyone truly got what they deserved at the end of this book. So yeah, happy days. So I particularly love book five because, I mean, it's the conclusion. So obviously it's going to probably have the best storyline. But book three was a close second. Everything started to kind of unravel. Everything that had been building up so far was kind of like some smaller reveals. But I mean, I love the series mostly because it was a great mix of thriller and a bit of romance on the side, which is like my perfect perfect genre of course because i've just finished the mind book series and um, i've got to choose another book i have so many on kindle limited that i'm dying to read but i have a full tbr shelf that needs to be read so i'm definitely going to pick up one of those next all of these books here are on my tbr everything on the shelf so there is a lot to choose from so for book number three of the weekend i decided to go for something like a little bit lighter um, in the romance genre so i've gone with the flat share by beth o'leary so we'll see how that one goes it is a romance book on the longer side. I think it does touch 400 pages. So I'll see if I can get it finished today and tomorrow for a full review, but TBC. It's 8 p.m. on Saturday and I've got up to page 46 of The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I'm going to leave it there for today just because I've got other bits to do. Um, but so far, really cute setup of the story. Really like it. I feel like you can kind of see where this arc's going to go, but... I don't know, hopefully I'll be surprised and it'll be a great story in the process. Good morning, I've been up this morning reading away um, for a couple of hours already. It is 10 o'clock and I'm now up to page 110 of The Flat Share. So I'm really loving this book so far. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, and I am really excited on how the dynamic's going to play out. Um, Leon has a girlfriend already and it is a book in the romance genre. So I am excited to see where this one goes. 
Um, the concept is really good as well. If you've never heard of the flat share before, it follows Tiffy and Leon who decide to co-lease a flat, but they actually share the same bed. So one of them is there um, in, the, in the evening and the nighttime, and then one of them is there in the daytime, so they work opposite shifts. Um, it's just a really fun idea. So this book has actually been made into a series or a film, I'm not 100% sure if I'm being honest, um, but it is, has been that popular. So yeah, I'm really excited to get through this. I've had absolutely loads to do today, but I couldn't put this book down. I've read another 100 pages, it is 5 p.m. and I'm absolutely loving it. Like the story is going in like the direction you would expect, but also it's just like a really fun read at the same time. So in this book, I really like that the whole story is not just about like Tiffy and Leon, on. Even like the side characters have a bit of their own background themselves and there's kind of like a side story going on at the same time as the obvious main romance story. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. I really do want to finish this today but it is on the longer side for a romance so I'm just gonna have to see. I've already neglected a lot of jobs I should have done. <laughs> It is actually half past eight on Monday morning. I'm not filming on Sunday night, but that is because I stayed up so late last night to finish this book because it was so good. I just really loved the story and I loved how it was a rom-com that like didn't have that much smut in it. It was just brilliant. And the side story played out really nicely as well. Like really complement the romance side of it. I highly recommend this book and I, I enjoyed it so much more than I thought I was going to. Tiffy and Leon obviously got their happy ever after and it turns out that sharing a bed with a stranger can work. So this weekend I've read three books. I've read book four of the Mindfuck series, which I gave 4.25. I've read book five of the Mindfuck series, which I gave five out of five. And The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, which I gave four and a half. Hope you've enjoyed my weekend reading vlog. It was really, really fun to do and film. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them.